What our plans here are for the roof are kind of undecided at this time. We can either redo it in the tin, a similar tin that was on here, or they make a tin now that looks like cedar shake shingles, and we have the option of using that. What you're looking at here is how they dovetailed the logs together to hold the wall straight on the line. This wall, fireplace should be straight through, but they've closed it off. There is a mantle that was over this stone, which we have stored. We salvaged it and we want to put it back on. Now, if you pan off to your right, you'll see where we open up so you can see how the logs lay in there and how the lower logs are pretty rough shape. They've got some rot in them. So these are all things we'll have to address as we're working on it. All right. This is the upper level of the fireplace which is uh, mostly with stone, but there was a later addition where they used regular bricks. We think that that may have been after the original fireplace was built and the stones tend to work themselves loose. But now there's regular brick in there. Okay, up here, if you look in the peak of the roof, all your roof joists that went up are pegged with wood. Just wood pegs in, no nails used. And this is just one more of the facts about this house that make it interesting and uh, it's a, been a fun thing to study. <laughs> 